hello friends it in my last video i i just started to talk about the uh, replication origin in case of the eukaryotes and we took a model as yeast and there the replication origin site is called the autonomously replicating sequence which is 200 base pair long and it is a 80 rich sequence and i told you why this is uh, this region is 80 rich uh, region and there we found that there are two domains uh, present one is a domain and one is b1 to b3 uh, b1 to b3 means there are b1 and b2 and b3 uh, um, sequences this domains are present with specific sequence and uh, this sequences work as uh, uh, as like uh, the place uh, as like the sequences that we had discussed in case of e coli and uh, this sequence is responsible for DNA melting. Now, this in the sequences, th uh, some proteins are involved which are responsible for this uh, initiation of the replication and the uh, and the melting of the DNA. And the first one, uh, which binds with the A domain and the B1 uh, domain on the replication side on the ARS sequence, that is. Uh, origin recognition recognition complex complex sorry for my handwriting but so uh, in uh, this complex can be uh, written as ORC all right and this uh, origin recognition complex this is uh, made up of six polypeptide uh, and uh, it interacts with the ATP to bind to the DNA and it works as a scaffold to help the binding of the subsequent protein. So if now I really want to draw this uh, uh, structure, here it is the DNA and suppose this is the, this is my place for this, uh, this is this whole space is uh, autonomous recognition, uh, this autonomous replicating sequence and on this sequence a large the uh, a large uh, protein binds and uh, let me take a new color so that it will be easy for me to draw mm. and this is the large protein which is known as ORC which works as a scaffold and with which other further protein binds and uh, these further proteins are C D C six and C D T one. This uh, C D C protein are the cell cycle protein, and uh, this uh, C D T one is uh, no known as chromatin licensing uh, DNA replication factor. So uh, now these uh, these two proteins are recruited by this ORC so uh, let me draw this two proteins this is uh, this is CDC 60 C this is CDC 6 and let me take a new color uh, this is CDT 1 okay so these are the two proteins that binds and after the binding of uh, this proteins to the ORC uh, the, the now the new complex is called a pre replication constant uh, co complex now this two protein helps in binding uh, some more proteins and that is MCM227 complex now let me uh, take a new color and this is the protein this is the protein which is known as MCM227 uh, these 227 are the subunits and this is the complex and uh, this protein uh, when, it, uh, when the ORC is there which actually recruits the CDC6 and CDT1 which again then helps to bind this uh, MCM227 and now the formation of the pre-replication complex is 
complete now when this when uh, this this pre rc this pre replication complex when it is already done then it needs to fire means to function and for this uh, the presence of the kinase enzyme is responsible this kinase enzyme uh, if you had watched my uh, videos on the enzyme you know that this kinase enzyme are responsible for the hydrolysis of ATP and ATP is the source of energy and to break the double bond of the DNA and to make the replication fork and then to further uh, uh, move the fork uh, th along the DNA molecule all these functions need ATP and uh, so uh, the a hydrolysis of ATP is necessary so here comes two kinase proteins which are responsible to fire this pre RC complex and these two proteins are CDK and DBF dependent kinase dependent kinase uh, which one you can write in short as DBK this K actually uh, denotes the kinase uh, the the, the the kinase protein this uh, last uh, k is uh, represent that these two proteins are the kinase proteins and they are responsible for the hydrolysis of this uh, atp now uh, the second thing is this that this cdc6 uh, that is uh, phosphorylated by the cdk protein this CDC6 is phosphorylated by this uh, CDK protein which is essential for entering into the S phase and if we have studied the cell cycle uh, then this is the cell cycle and this is the small portion is the M phase and then this is G1 this S phase and then this is G2 phase and this S phase uh, represents the synthesis phase in which the replication of DNA completes and uh, this to enter this S phase this CDK protein phosphorylates the CD6 CDC6 protein to enter into the s into the seven in, into the S phase and uh, this MCN227 complex is activated uh, by this DBK protein along with CDC7 uh, which is phosphoryl th these two proteins phosphorylates this MCM227 complex and it shows its helicase function and we have already discussed about this helicase function it it, it breaks the it, it or it removes the uh, hydrogen bonding so that the double helix of the the double helical structure of the dna is broken and it is uh, now it, it comes into a single stranded form so in case of this uh, eukaryotic uh, dna replication the initiation of the dna replication is involved with some more proteins uh, than the prokaryotes but uh, in the in the next step where we will be discussing about the ab about the elongation phase it is more or less similar uh, not more or less it is very much similar to the pro uh, prokaryotic uh, prokaryotic uh, phase of elongation uh, but here the polymerase enzymes that we will be discussing is uh, is is, is uh, many many polymerase enzymes are involved in this uh, reaction so let's take a new board and so there we'll be discussing on this thing uh, now the number of po polymerase DNA polymerase that are involved this is DNA pol uh, this DNA polymerase enzyme alpha is there alpha beta gamma delta eta and kappa this uh, this uh, six polymerase enzymes are involved here and 
each polymer has uh, different functions like uh, this alpha this is uh, this function more or less like prime is and as we knows, know that this prime is responsible for the synthesis of the primer so the, 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 the it has function to synthesize the mm, primer this beta is uh, responsible for the base excision repair uh, base excision uh, excision repair uh, it's it's a, a kind of a repair system uh, that we will be discussing uh, later in uh, other video this gamma this is responsible for the empty DNA replication empty DNA replication this delta is responsible for the lagging strand uh, synthesis and this eta is responsible for the leading strand synthesis uh, but in case of prokaryotes both this lagging and leading strand was synthesized by one single polymerase that was DNA pol 3 and the last one this kappa it is required for the attachment of the cohesin now uh, each of this uh, polymerase enzyme has different uh, exonucleus activity um, uh, this uh, 3 prime to 5 prime exonucleus activity or uh, 5 prime to 3 prime exonucleus activity is there uh, in case of this alpha there is uh, no such activity we have found till now in case of beta no there is no 3 prime to 5 prime and 5 prime to 3 prime exonucleus activity in case of this uh, gamma polymerase 3 prime to 5 prime exonucleus activity is there and in case of delta and eta 3 prime and uh, 3 prime to 5 prime exonucleus activity is there so i i guess this much of information is fine with the eukaryotic polymerase enzyme i'll see you in the next video stay tuned till then